Hi, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 1st to the 15th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Scorpio, let's see the energy that we have to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the Three of Pentacles. So, I almost... Okay, it's, it's interesting the energy that's coming forward. So, there's a sense of you're waiting for the group to join in. It's like the group needs to join in. The group needs to join in. And they're not. They're not going to be pulling their weight the way that you, you need them to. So, there's almost a sense here of releasing the energy of thinking, okay, these people are going to help me out. And really sitting there and, and taking on... And looking at things in a way of like, I'm going to be shouldering more of the responsibility. But we then also have to be mindful of letting people kind of get away with murder. Like letting them get away with saying, okay, this is all now your responsibility, Scorpio. And just totally walking away from the situation. So there's going to need to be a balance here. But I also see it as you'd rather work alone than work with a group of people that don't want to be there. Or, you know, have, it's like herding cats. You don't want to be herding cats. It's just, it's just not going to be something that, that you even want to do. So let's look at our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. You have two coming forward. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above your crown. And this is the earth star chakra located six inches below your feet. Divine wisdom and grounding is coming in. You're going to be receiving knowledge and you're going to be knowing things. It's like there's just a knowing here that comes forward. You can find it a bit disconcerting because you're going to be like, well, how do I know? And I want deeper knowledge. Like I want deeper facts to this. And just this gut instinct isn't going to be something I want to go off of. And yet spirit is saying, trust it. We also have the grounding coming forward, and this is grounding ourselves in our energy, in our determination, also looking at our roots, seeing, like, are we a bit wobbly on things? Do we need to step back? Do we need to regroup? Do we need to look at what's sustaining us or what we're expecting of ourselves and see if we're being unreasonable? Because that's also going to be something that we'll tend to do during this time, put unreasonable expectations on us and wonder why we don't feel cemented in them, because we, our roots are going to be, it's like your roots are showing, right? And you're going to need to pile on more dirt, more more nourishment, more coziness, to more centering of the self. And and just being able to have fun, just being able to be free is going to be very important to you during this time, Scorpio. Okay, so let's look at what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have here... Okay, let me just turn everything over. There we go. What's interesting is you have the sister sign. You have your sister sign of the Hierophant coming forward. So the sister sign means that it can bring out the absolute best in you or the absolute worst. So either you really get on with Taurus or you really don't. But there's a sense of stepping into an institution, stepping into a way things are done. You're actually going to see that you, you shine in this. But again, okay, this is where the energy to be mindful of 
really comes through, you take on a lot more than you need to during this time. You're going to be putting the weight on your shoulders, weight on your shoulders. But again, if you don't do this, how do things get done? How do you move forward? Where is it that you will be? So it's kind of like a catch-22 here. It's kind of like, okay, well, if I wait for them to do it, it's just going to sit on their desk. Or the room will never get cleaned or whatever it is. It's like, if I wait for you, it's not going to happen. But if I take it on, I'll get it done. But then just more is expected of me, more is expected of me. So be very mindful of this because this is going to be a really big frustration during this time. You can get so weighed down, Scorpio, that all the beauty goes away. Like all the joy, all the beauty, all the connection. And you really want that. You want the summer. I mean, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you want the sun and the summer and the joy and the going places and the doing things and, and just being able to be, you know, out and about and not be super worried. That's going to be a real guiding force for you during this time. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you still want to go out and about and you still want to, you know, take in the joy of things. So you don't want to be so bogged down. So it's going to be, it's going to be a balancing act during this time. You're, you're also going to find that you're finding the niche that you shine in, all right? You're finding the way that you can move forward, what it is that you can go after that really speaks to you, Scorpio, meaning that it doesn't have to resonate with anybody else, but it really resonates with you. There is a sense that you're not going against the grain. You're actually going to find things to teach you, tutorials, YouTube videos, you know, whatever it is. You're finding a world where you really fit into it and you're finding how you excel, how you, you know, expand, how you move forward. And that's a very exciting thing for you. That's a very exciting place to be. The Ace of Cups comes in and this is a healing, beautiful love that comes forward. This is also a gift just for you. You're represented by the cups in the minor arcana. So when the Ace of Cups comes in, this is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you this gift of healing, of cleansing, of washing away hurtful, hateful emotions that have bogged you down, held you down, and kept you from the place that you needed to be in your life. There is a healing that moves you towards a greatness, moves you towards a power, moves you towards an understanding. But it also will bring up emotions that you thought you had, you know, squashed down, you thought you had walked away from. So just be aware of this. There's something that's surfacing that needs to be looked at, needs to be faced, because you are taking on such a role, such a powerful role, even just within yourself. It doesn't have to be that everybody's going to be, you know, kind of acquiescing to you, Scorpio. It means that you are going to be really knowing your worth and knowing what you desire. A lot of the the hurts, the pains, the the aggravations that have held you back they're being released. And as you move forward in this, you're going to find that new prosperity is guiding you, but you have to be patient with the prosperity that you're going after. You have to be patient with what is building. You're going to, to see your strengths. You're going to see your authority. You're going to see what you desire. And you're going to think, okay, I've gotten it. I've named it. You know, I understand it in my head. Now it's supposed to fall into place. And though that's a great idea, that's not necessarily going to be how it happens. You have to be patient and you have to let things grow, especially in the climate that the world is at right now. So letting things slowly and steadily grow, being patient as you move forward and not being you know, overly aggravated with yourself for not seeing the results instantaneously because that's also going to be something where you start to put on extra burdens to yourself because you're not seeing the results that you, you thought you would see. You're not moving forward as quickly as you had thought. And so just be patient, just be patient because by putting more and more on your, on your shoulders, it's actually going to slow down the process. The High Priestess, I mean, Scorpio, you already see what others overlook. So when the High Priestess comes in, when the veil is lifted from your eyes, you're looking at things in a much more open, much more honest, much more direct way than you had been. And this can be a little bit overwhelming because it's kind of like, okay, how much truth can I see? You know, how much, how much is it, how much do I want to know? And there are going to be some things that you have to step away from because it's going to be too much. And again, we're trying to de-burden ourselves, not add more burdens onto our shoulders. Because as you take things in, it's going to be like, well, I need to fix this. And oh, I need to fix that. Or, or emotionally, I'm just going to take this on and take this on until it becomes backbreaking, until it becomes too much. You're seeing things for what they truly are. You're not seeing the, the facade that, that you want to see. You're also going to use the word, the word gilded is going to come up often during this time. And gilded, not golden. Golden means that it's gold, right? Gilded means that it's painted over and it's made to look pu beautiful. But if you, you scraped it, you would find that it's not there, like that, that it's not beautiful. So here it's like, be mindful that people are going to put on a gilded front. I have everything under control. I know all the answers. I, I have everything, you know, all figured out. 
you scratch the surface and you will scratch the surface and you're going to find a decay underneath. So just be aware of this and just understand that when you see it, I'm just seeing it coming through in the shape of like a skeleton, a skeleton. So that can be very disconcerting when you see the veneer, you know, falling off and you see the person for who and what they truly are instead of what they want to project to the world. So be mindful of that. That can kind of knock you off your game during this time. You're also going to think that you're being a little bit too sensitive or a little bit too harsh on things or maybe even relying too much on your intuition and thinking, oh, there's not that that foundation. There is that foundation. You do have the soul star chakra. You have the, the wisdom, the divine guidance leading you. Listen to it. So many times, you know, we don't listen to our inner voice. We don't listen to what our gut is saying. And then we think, wow, why didn't I listen to it? Because our world trains us not to, not to listen to ourselves, but to just keep you know, pushing forward, just keep achieving, just keep, you know, going after the gold. But you're going to find that a lot of what was told to you was golden, is really gilded. It's it's not what it appears to be. And then we have the three of wands. You're going to see new horizons opening up, new journeys, new adventures, really moving you forward. And there's there's going to be a sense of, oh, I didn't think this door could open, or I didn't think I could move forward this way, or I didn't think this could be me. And it can. And that's really exciting. There is a sense of more here than expected and more to you than expected. And so during this time, there's a real sense of, of power and and becoming and understanding and insight. And that is going to be a very powerful thing for you. It's like, I'm not, I'm not stuck. And there's a feeling, there's a feeling that I am stuck. You know, there's a fear around us during this time, Scorpio, that I am stuck, that I've, I've gotten to this point in my life where all the decisions have been made and now I just have to deal with the burdens. And that is, that is not the right way to look at it, at things. What you're going to find is that yes, we've have accumulated responsibilities, but you're also going to find that you're moving forward in this space of authority, of determination, of focus, of insight, and that so much of what you love, so much of your heart is, is changing your world. And that's something that you think, oh, no, my heart can't change my world. You know, it has to be through force or it has to be through, you know, through fire or anger or, or just like, you know, sheer determination and focus. But the high priestess has determination and focus, but in a gentler way, in a quieter way, in a behind the scenes way. And sometimes you just needs to close the curtains and say, you know what, world, it's, it's just a little bit too much right now. So be be aware of it. Be aware of this energy around you because it can be too much and you might need to just sit in your own understanding and kind of digest everything that has come and see where you stand afterwards, see how you're moving forward. The subconscious energy to be mindful of is the 10 of pentacles. There's an energy around you. Now this is a funny card to be mindful of because the 10 of pentacles is so positive, but the 10 of pen pentacles is like, it's all figured out or I'm supposed to be this successful all the time. I'm supposed to operate at this level all the time. If I'm not right 110%, then why even do it? You're sabotaging yourself. You're taking away everything that you're offering because you're judging yourself too harshly. And that's going to be something that you need to watch out for. Everybody curates what they're showing to the world. It's always the very best. It's always, you know, the, the happy pictures and the, the smiling faces and the, you know, I, I, I have everything under control. Nobody knows what's going on behind closed doors. So just be aware of this. You're going to, you're going to be focusing so much on this is what success looks like that you're going to miss your own success. You're going to miss your own prosperity. And that will be a shame. That really will be because it doesn't have to be like everybody else. It moves us to our subconscious chakra energy and it's the heart chakra and it's forgiveness. You know, so often we talk about forgiveness and we think of forgiving others, but really I see the heart chakra of forgiveness as I forgive myself. Forgiving others is great, but taking the burden that we carry in our hearts for ourselves and saying, I forgive me, you know, I, I exonerate me, I move me forward, I release the pain and hurt that I'm carrying. I understand that I was naive or, you know, gullible or however you want to see it, or just too young, you know, I took on too much, or I, I, I judge myself too harshly. Here, it is a time to release and to stop thinking I have to carry everything because that's the energy that comes forward, Scorpio. And that's the energy that will drown us. It moves us to our subconscious tarot energy and it's the Eight of Cups. And that's what Spirit has been talking about this whole time. The Eight of Cups is I walk away. I walk away from something I once thought I would love. And sometimes it's saying to people, you know what, you have to figure this out. You know, you have to do this. It can't just be me. 
And that's going to be important here. It's not, you know, leaving people who absolutely need you, you know, not like leaving children and, you know, again, people who we are caring for. But it is saying that I can't, I can't carry everything. And I can't make fit what doesn't fit anymore. You know, sometimes when you go and try on a pair of shoes and you love them, but they don't fit anymore. And you think, what the heck kind of witchcraft is this? But it just happens. You know, feet grow, bodies change. And, and you have to give, the, the, give them away. You have to walk away from them and say, okay, now they go on to somebody else. And this is going to be with the energy that we're carrying. I can't carry this anymore. I can't keep this anymore. I also need to learn how to walk forward for me and work for, walk forward in a way that is right for me. Instead of thinking, oh, what will everybody else think of this? How will everybody else judge the success of this? It's like, who the heck cares? Am I happy with it or am I not? All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio, and may blessings always be with you.